Hey, I'm Cesar from Chatwith. Today we are going to focus on bookings for apartments or rooms or, you know, let's say any service that is a full day bookings. You know, bookings is a very, you know, tricky situation and you can have different, you know, components, different elements, different types of services, different, different requirements, different settings. So, you know, each business has its own unique, you know, settings and configuration. So, you know, but we are trying to give you the tools so you can, you know, cover as much as possible. The idea for, for apartments is that you're going to rent elements that are based on full days. I don't book by hours in a day. I book by days in a month, weeks, whatever. And the booking is, you know, let's say full day. You know, you cannot make half a day. You cannot make, uh, I don't know, uh, hours. For that, we have hours, no? And I give you the link to the video where we explain how to manage bookings by hours. This is bookings by days. And I'm going to share with you uh, an example. You know, we are working with, with a client and so you can see how we how we do it. First, you know, we have the inventory. No, this is the this is all the rooms, all the apartments we have in this in this uh, case. Uh, we have uh, the name, the new name. He changed the name of the apartments. This is an internal name, so you know to keep track of the of the apartment. And we are doing uh, WhatsApp catalogs for each apartment. So you know you can have each apartment inside uh, WhatsApp as a as a catalog. No, so you can you can browse inside WhatsApp. You know each apartment let me see if this opens if not let me share it here here so this will be this is the catalog inside whatsapp for this apartment so you know the idea is to have as much information as possible inside a uh, whatsapp so we have the inventory we have the the catalog inside whatsapp now we are going to create the widget so we can you know fine tune the experience and we can you know have the you know all the rooms uh, for the bookings so let's go to the widget. We go here. We go to what well, the widget is very simple. You know, booking form, book your apartment. That's it. Uh, then we go to agents. In agents, we have we are we are also creating a bot for support. But for now, let's focus on the on the form. So we ask for the name, number, how many guests, terms and condition. You need to accept. Oh, no, no, it's, it's only it's only it's only a text. You know, it's not checking or out on Saturday. On Saturday. That's it. That's only uh, you know requirement. And down here is where we have the bookings. For that, you know, you need to choose in the drop down. This is this is created. This is created with the drop down. Okay, it's not it's not up here. Okay, I know this is a bit confusing. We are trying to to work on the UI, but you know, this is not the option for full days. This is the option for hours. Okay, so. Down here, you need to choose, but in any field, you need to choose drop down with booking by day. Okay, that's the option you need to choose. When you choose that one, you know, we create the widget, you know, with all the elements to do bookings. So you choose this one. We have some options. We are going to go one by one so you can see everything. And down here, we have all the, all the apartments with the price. Okay, and that's it. In this case, we have an internal name and a, yeah, let's say, user name no we have these two just just to understand you know which one is is you know which one is is the apartment that is being rent we have done so we, we have checked this option okay for that okay now i delete the the, the names uh, but it's okay I, I will go back and, and and forward so you can see it but you know this option this option is for you to have two fields for the name one for the internal name another for the let's say user name okay let me go back and I'm going to leave okay, because I, I don't want to lose the, the work I was doing. Okay, so we have internal name and no username. No, that's the that's the idea. And, and we are using this this document for that. Okay, new name, internal name. This is because sometimes you know the, the name for the user, you know, you need to use something friendly, but the code for you is you know apartment B, apartment C, apartment, you know, something like that. The price, this is something you configure here. Okay. And uh, we have this option active show price in the widget okay so when i choose when i choose the dates i'm going to see the rooms with the price okay that's it this works fantastic then this option select day before and filter categories by date this is an option that can be interesting or not okay this is something for you to decide this option what makes is i need to choose first the dates and then i will see what's available we also need to check this one, check availability. 
because this option, what makes is, is we are checking your bookings and we show to the user only the ones that are available. Okay, so this option and this option makes the widget really smart. Okay, the widget is going to control what rooms, what apartments are, you know, with a guest, what is available, and we are going to present that to the user. Okay, so this, I think this is very good. And this makes the system, let's say, fully automated. You don't need to, you, you don't need to check what is free, what is not, what is available, what is not. The system is going to do that for you, okay? So these options, check availability, select dates before. If you uncheck this one, so you can see the difference, let's, let's save. Now I choose the room and then I choose the date. What may happen? You know, the room can be busy or the room can be occupied or the room can be, you know, that, that can be a bit confusing, okay? Because based on the dates, I may have an option. I may, I, I can choose an option and then it's not going to be available. So it's, I think it's confusing for the user. I like this option better, but this is for you to decide, okay? I hope this is clear. So this option, okay, with this option active, I need to choose the dates before, okay? And then I see what's available, okay? Without this option, I can choose any room, you know, this one, for example, and then I can choose the dates, okay? But this is for you to, to decide. Uh, I'm going to keep it like that. So pricing is set, reminders are set. You can define the minimum reservation, maximum reservation. This is something you can define here. So the user doesn't do something you don't want. Uh, notes, and that's it. And that's it, okay. So this is this is active. Ah, one more thing. In, the, in, this, in this case, we are going to send the user to checkout, okay? What that means? That means the user will need to pay to confirm the booking, okay? So we go to payments, we link a Stripe. I know Stripe is not available, you know, across the across the, the world. And sometimes, you know, we have requests like, hey, can you activate this payment? But, you know, the truth is, you know, Stripe is fantastic. We can do a nice integration with, you know, our system and Stripe and other platforms don't have that, you know, capabilities. So I know it's a burden, but, you know, you need to, you need to wait or, you know, we will try to do something for you. But right now is Stripe. So in this case, uh, and I will make a link to the video because we have done dynamic pricing. Dynamic pricing means, means you can choose this option that is going to calculate the final price for the checkout based on the options of the user. So if I choose three days and it's 300, it's going to be three times 300, 900. So the payment is going to be calculated based on that. So this is for that, and also I can I can instead of 100%, I can ask the user to pay 25%. You know, so the user is going to pay some amount, and the rest will be paid. You know, on the arrival. Okay. So this is the this is the option. This is the this is the configuration for the checkout. So now let's do one example. So you can see this working. Let's go to the landing page. The landing page is very simple. I put here my information. I put here my phone number. Let's see, I'm three. I'm going from this to here. I choose this one. I choose three nights, so it's going to be, well, three nights, three days means two nights, so it's going to be by two. No notes. Okay, I confirm. I go to the payment, so it's 600. I need to pay 150. I put my information, I pay, and that's it. How is the interface for the how is the interface for the leads? And the same, you know, because you know, full days has nothing to do with hours. We have done a new backend for you to manage the calendar. So you know, we are doing everything you know specific for this you know configuration. Here in the leads, as you can see, I have you know this user three hundred two nights. You know, this is the amount six hundred. I can see here the total amount of you know uh, this is the total amount of money you know we are making this is pending pay so i can see you know this user is you know has not pay uh, you know pending pay pending pay pending pay pending pay pending pay uh, uh, uh. i think there is something uh, what is the one i did i hope there is one 
okay, great. <laughs> Here, this is the test we did where we, you know, finally, you know, commit to do everything. You know, we did all the testing and we get the payment. So this is the leads and here we have the bookings. And the bookings is this nice uh, view, you know, by dates, you know, and you can see all your apartments and you can see all the reservations, okay? We give you, you know, some information about the booking. We give you the, if you click, you will see the full, uh, the full file. You can see all the information. You can see everything about the booking. And, you know, a, a nice update here is uh, you can move you can move the the bookings you know in the calendar so if you want to change you know hey this is not free but hey do you mind let's say you have something with the bookings maybe there is a you need to do a, a repair in the apartment maybe you know that week there is you know something happening in the street whatever you can change the bookings by you know moving the bookings in the calendar so you know that's the same that's a nice uh, feature so this is something we have here. This is something that is 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 working. Uh, you know, the calendar is going to is going to you know give you this nice uh, interface. We you know you can check everything that is uh, happening. Of course, you can move to February. You can move to March. You can, you know, you can keep checking. You know how you doing. You know you can keep checking. You know what what is happening. So this is for you to check the the bookings. If let's say someone calls you, someone hey, do you have a room for you know? You can always add a booking here. Okay. You can create you can click on the add contact and you can add a new booking you know right here so you know for you it's easy to you know to update the system to add to add new new guests etc and finally landing page we have the the landing page for your booking uh, in this case in this case we are using the simple the simple template this one but you know if you want you can change the template to something like like this one let me see yeah like this one for example i think it's a bit nicer okay so this is the this is the the booking and you know but you know you can keep it as simple as as you want you know default is you know super simple like pretty much no information just you know a few uh, elements you know the title welcome the form that's it super nice you know simple so this is bookings for apartments okay this is or rooms i mean you can you can you can make bookings for uh, cars motorbikes bikes rooms apartments co-working space um i don't know event spaces, uh, I don't know, catering, <laughs> I don't know, uh, anything that belongs to full day category, no, like the booking belongs to a full day experience, you know, like I, I don't go by the hour, no, I go to something that is an asset that you are going to rent by days, okay, hope you like it, this is a, a new, I mean, we are doing a set of, of videos, you know, for for bookings because you know we we are adding more elements we are adding more content we are adding more tools we are adding more resources so this one belongs to this case okay booking for apartments so we are going like one by one we are doing videos about that and you know hope you like it and hope it's clear and you know we want to explain everything as clearly as possible so you 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 can understand how to use the, the tool for the for the settings of the booking i hope it's clear but is you create a widget you go to agents, you go to the form, and you add the option drop down with booking by day. Okay, that's the option for bookings full day experience. And then you know the settings are here. You can add the elements of your apartments, rooms, you know, uh, cars, bikes, whatever. And this is the settings you can choose. Okay, you can play around, you know, on your own. If you have a question, you know, send us a, a message and we will be there for you. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.